My last book was called Desires for Reality, Radicalism and Revolution in Western European Film. This is a book that looks at cinema and 1968. The title attempts to capture something of the flavor of filmmaking from that time. The title is um, half of a 1968 graffiti slogan. And that slogan was, I believe in the reality of my desires because I take my desires for reality. This uh, particular phenomena of European cinema, in which a desire for revolutionary change, a desire to alter reality, became a way of rethinking cinema. Cinema to uh, assist the revolutionaries on the street, cinema to critique society, cinema to uh, begin to imagine the kind of society that was desired in 1968. The scope of the book, therefore, is very wide. It takes in well-known filmmakers from that period, Jean-Luc Godard, for example, Bernardo Bertolucci, but it also begins to recover some obscure filmmaking, the Zanzibar Film Group, the Vienna Action Commune around Otto Mull. It talks about a uh, horror film like Jean Rollin, Jess Franco, and it also begins to uh, reapproach some long since forgotten uh, and it's time that we re-remembered them and reapproached them film, uh, films in order to begin to assemble a canon of um, 1968 cinema. So this is the first book that really attempts to assemble a Western European canon of 1968 filmmaking. What were the questions that were being asked? What was the conception of the cinema audience at that time? How were the films attempting to ferment a revolutionary sensibility and even revolutionary action? Then after 1968, when the revolution hadn't happened, how were the pieces picked up? What new questions arose? And further to that, what new conception of cinema seemed to emerge from the rubble of the revolution that didn't happen? At that point, the film uh, the films that were made uh, began to anticipate the directions, the politics, the ideology of 1970s Western European filmmaking. Uh, this is a book, the first ever book, that really addresses uh, a revolutionary period of absolute ferment in cinema in 1968. When I began it, this was obscure historical archival material. But as I wrote across the last four or five years, um, as we have an increase in protest, from anti-globalization to more localized protests, we begin to see that this idea of a radical media, of a radical critique of society, of getting a message across, of using film in a way to affect social change, has become terribly relevant. And there are many lessons from 1968 that I think we need to learn again.